so we'll quickly uh, look at the next uh, combination therapy this is what is known as the sulfadosine and pyrimetamine okay combination therapy so together they call them what fancida so there are other brand names too like Sweda and Maldox so let's quickly look at the pharmacology of this um, combination so for sulfadosine and pyrimetamine we said that they are actually uh, an anti malaria what combination drug so they are primary used for treating what plasmodium falciparum malaria especially in cases of chloroquine what resistant all right So the mechanism of action, we say that the sulfadosine is a sulfonamide that inhibits what dihydroxyrate synthase. So usually blocks folic acid synthesis in the parasite. Then pyrimetamine is a dihydrofolate or reductase inhibitor, preventing the conversion of folic acid into its active form, which is essential for what DNA synthesis. So you understand? They usually like how would I put it? They work hand in hand. So they work hand in hand. So the synergistic effect of both drugs leads to what depletion of folic acid. Alright. So this is usually what disrupts or scatter nucleic acid and, and protein production in the parasite. You get so so um, pharmacokinetics is well absorbed orally. Primary uh, metabolism is hepatic. Um, half life, I said, uh, has a long half life, making it suitable for what single dose treatment. So indications usually a uncomplicated what um, plasmodium falciparum malaria infections, where chloroquine has been resisted. So not routinely recommended for prophylaxis, but may be used in areas where alternative drugs are unavailable. Side effects and warning is severe hypersensitivity reactions like Steven Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrolysis. They can also have some one or two effects on your blood too. Okay. Uh, hematological toxicity, that's a plastic anemia and all of that. Okay. And um, agranulocytosis. So have some one or two gastrointestinal problems like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. So it's contraindicated in patients that are allergic to those classes of drugs that are sulfonamides, or the patients are actually pregnant or newborns because there's a risk of what? Okay, so that was it for.